Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a calculus problem using derivatives. So we have y equals ln x and y equals kx. And those two graphs are tangent and we're going to be finding the k value. So, and I'm going to be showing you a graph of these functions as well so you can get a better idea what they look like. So in order for two curves, well, y equals kx is a line, but we can call that a curve in general. So these two functions are tangent, the graphs are tangent. Uh, so here's what we're going to do. First of all, we're going to set them equal to each other. But we don't know at which point they are equal to each other. So we have something like this. And again, at the end, I'm going to show you a nicer graph of this. But we have the y equals ln x that kind of looks like this. And then we do have y equals kx, which obviously goes through the origin. And these two graphs are tangent to each other. So let's go ahead and, uh, you know, mark the point of tangency and call this a. So the x coordinate of the point of tangency is going to be called a. And then what about the y value, right? Now, well, the y value can be written in two ways. If you substitute into the first one, you can get that the y value is going to be ln a. If you use the second one, you're going to get ka. Great. So in other words, ka is equal to ln a. You can safely say that since we're trying to find the value of k, k is equal to ln a over a. But we're going to find the value of a because a is something we invented and we need a numerical value for k. Great. Great. Let's go ahead and approach this from a calculus perspective. Now, when the graph of y equals ln x is tangent, or the line y equals kx is tangent to the graph of y equals ln x, then the slope of the tangent, which is given by the derivative, right? The slope of the tangent is basically equal to the derivative at a. But what is f in this case, right? Well, f of x is going to be the curve, which is ln x. And we're going to differentiate it. When you differentiate f of x, you're going to get 1 over x. And if you replace x with a, or in other words, if you evaluate f prime at a, you're going to get 1 over a. And by the definition, by the definition, the derivative at a is equal to the slope of the tangent at a. So this is the slope of the tangent. So we can just set this equal to mt. But what is the tangent? The tangent is the line y equals kx, right? That is our tangent. Well, what is the slope of this line? It is k. Great. So we can basically set this equal to k then. From here, we're going to be getting k equals 1 over a. Awesome. So we got two equations for k so far. k equals 1 over a or k equals ln a over a. Since we're talking about the same k, they're equal to each other. Let's go ahead and set them equal to each other. So ln a over a, here the first k value is equal to the second k value, which is 1 over a. And from here we get ln a equals 1. Of course, a should not equal 0 at this point. And you can pretty much you know, say that a does not equal 1 because it's impossible, right? Oh, okay, if ln a is equal to 1, then that means... Since we're talking about the base e here, ln means natural logarithm, so a is going to be e. But remember, we're looking for the k value, but we do know that k is equal to 1 over a, therefore k is just going to be 1 over e from here. What would happen if you use the other equation to evaluate k? You would get the same thing because k is equal to ln a over a, and a is equal to a is equal to e, so ln e over e is going to be 1 over e as well. So the k value that we're looking for is basically 1 over e. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. And this actually doesn't bring us to the end of this video because I said that I was going to show you the graph. So let me go ahead and do that right now. Here we go. Okay, so the graph of y equals ln x is the red one, and the blue line is y equals kx. But since k is equal to 1 over e, you're basically looking at the graph of y equals 1 over e times x. And the intersection point is, or the point of tangency is e, 
comma one. And this actually brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.